hello hello ladies and gentlemen welcome to a day with k and i am here with another exclusive wig review that i'm sure you, you remember i told you about the last video i said i was gonna have a big surprise for you on my next wig review well honey your girl have came through now some of y'all will be like why can't you do that? That's fine. But I had to do this wig because I was looking, y'all remember back in the day, and I think it was probably like the 80s. Now, first of all, my mother is, back in the day, she was the bomb. The clothes that she was wearing back then, I wish we still had today because I, I'll be rocking everything she wore. My mama has worn the lashes, ladies, back in the 60s and 70s, my mama wore the lashes, she wore the bell bottom, she wore the afro, my mom is gorgeous. Yes, honey, she's gorgeous. And she used to wear all kinds of styles, but do y'all remember this one particular style was called the mushroom style? I guess that's what they call it. That's what I'm gonna call it today. The mushroom look. I want that so bad and I can't seem to find it. And I looked everywhere for a mushroom wig. So the closest thing I came up with was by Hair Topic. And now see on the, the now this was on the mannequin. I actually saw it laying there. And so I don't know what it's gonna look like on me. Um, but I can't wait to try her on. It has the mushroom look. So it's got a full bang going all the way around. And then the back is it's two-tone. I don't do blonde. I have a wig coming up later on that has a little bit of blonde in it. But honey, you know I'm not getting ready to do no full-headed blonde. I can't do that, okay? But like I told y'all, teach his own. I'm not down to none of y'all. I'm not brave enough to do the blonde. But anyway, um... It's by Hair Topic. It is a beautiful, beautiful wig. And they say it feels like human hair. The name of it is called Mega Wow. I got it in 1B. Because, like I told y'all, I was not getting ready to do that. It is safe up to 360 degrees Fahrenheit. So if you want to do something other than the bowl, you can. But, you know, I'm not going to do that. So we're getting ready to... um take it out and we're gonna see we getting ready to see what happens honey yes with my little mushroom dude back in the 80s here i come you know i was born in the 80s so i done told my dad gonna age lord have mercy lord have mercy yes i thought she was cute i mean y'all might i might put this wig on y'all be like okay be honest in the comments because you don't hurt my feelings honey i'm real so if y'all be like, oh girl, don't do that, it's not for you. I'll take it from y'all, cause y'all my family, so. I can't take it from some folks who just being a critic. We're not doing that. Um, but anyway, this is a really, they say it's, it feels like human hair. Let me see if they tell them the truth. Cause you know, I'll be right back up in there talking about y'all say this thing feel like, I'm just playing. Okay, let's just see what she's working with, okay? Let's see how many combs this one got. Because you know I've been getting them lately without the combs. And y'all know how I feel about them daggone combs, okay? I don't like the one in the back, but I got to have some kind of security, honey. I done told y'all. Okay. Uh-oh, here she go. Now, I didn't, you know what? What did I, what have I done? What have I done? What have I done? Okay, here she go, y'all. Here she go. Okay, here she go. Straight out of the pack. Okay. Lord have mercy. She don't have no combs. So you already know what I always say. You're gonna have to have some pins. And if you can, if you got braids and you and you are a person that like to sew wigs down, you could do that too. But this is what we're working with, okay? So I'm about to put her on. So like I said, no pins, and we're gonna see what happens. Uh oh, 
Why is this giving me TLC T Boss vibes? Uh, not the color, but the way these right here is doing. Why is it sitting up there like that? And I ain't got no braids as tall, so what in the world? Okay, ladies. Here she go. Straight out of the packaging. What do you think of this? Y'all. This is a no for me. This is a no for me. This is a no for me. I, I, I don't know if I can get down with this. I'm trying to see what I can do to it because it's, it's, it's just doing too much. You don't like it? Y'all, that's the reason we have reviews, okay? Because, see, y'all gotta watch it because I have real sideburns, so. Let's see what I can do to it. Okay, y'all, see, my daughter said it's a no. Now, remember, we could go up to 360 degrees. We're gonna have to, because I'm not finna do this. This is an ugly, bold mess. An ugly, bold mess. I cannot take it. Oh, no. I'm gonna have to do something to this hair. Oh, no, honey. What can I do? Uh-uh. We're not finna do this. Okay, okay, okay. Look, I had to... <laughs> I had to do something with this wig. And y'all might look at it and say, you know what, Miss K, it was okay, but uh-uh. And when I was sitting in that mirror looking at this wig, a big, and when I'm saying bold, I'm not saying B-O-L-D, I'm saying B-O-W-L, a bold. Cause you remember back in the day, little boys got little bold cuts. That's what this wig is and um, inspiration of. And I'm gonna just tell you, I mean, here's the thing. I am down with the sideburns. Cause you know, the kind of sideburns are coming back or whatever, but it's a no for me. And maybe it's because of the bang thing. Because I'm not a big bang fan. But, yeah, no. We're going to put some curls in it. Because, it, first of all, it's got this old-fashioned vibe to the nape of it. Um, the neck of it, it looks a little, you know, aged, for lack of a better phrase. So, I was determined to put some kind of definition to this wig. And I know y'all probably say, every wig she gets, she try to transform it. Well, that's the purpose of buying these wigs. You don't want to buy this wig and just wear it the same way. You know, there's other things you can do, honey. You can um put rods in it and make it better. I mean, it's so many things you can do to these wigs instead of just wearing the way it come out of the back. I mean, you don't have to wear it the way it come out of the back because I'm not going to do that, especially if I spend money. And you can reuse these wigs different ways. The way that I'm showing you now, okay, you could have worn if you like the bang look, the bold look. You can wear it like that, but later on to save money, you can restyle these wigs. And people think you got a whole brand new wig on or a brand new hairstyle, and you don't. You had that same old mega wow that you got out the pack. But it's just, it's just so fun doing these videos because I love to see what the wigs turn out to be. Now, I'm going to be honest with you. On this channel, if the wig is a no, I'm going to let you know. I'm going to be like, look. Like, for, for example, this wig right here, I was like, when I put it on, you notice I said, it's a no for me. I'm not finna tell y'all to go out here and get this wig. And, and then, like I said, I'm not telling you not to get it. If you like the bang look, that's your preference. For K, it was a no. I was not finna go out there looking like that. No, mm -mm. not the girl. Do y'all see my left eyelash with that clunk of glue right there? Let me give y'all the backstory while we sitting here watching me do these um, tucks. When you live with a teenage daughter, it's almost impossible to keep up with your beauty products. So I have, I use either a black duo lash glue or I use Kiss Black lash glue. 
I could not find neither. So I had to go with what she gave me, which is Broadway. And I didn't even know Broadway made lash glue. What we won't do is be cheap. It was, it took forever to dry. And I had to get this video done because it was late. So y'all, y'all already know. When I do my makeup, I do not let glue show. But I had to get the review done. And do not judge me for that clunk of white glue that's sitting over there on the left hand side of my left eye. Ugh. But I ain't go nowhere, so it don't matter. Y'all the only ones to seen it, and it's all good. So see how this wig is coming to life. I'm feeling it right now. It looks like I just went to the salon and got me a couple of curls and a shortcut do. And you know I love me a shortcut do, honey. A shortcut is just a breeze. And spring is right around the corner, honey. This is a great spring look. And this wig will probably be good with a little bit of color in it, too. It's a really pretty wig now that it's coming to life. Look at that. Look at them curls coming on in. Mm hmm Yes. I'm all about that. All about that. All about that. Yes. Look at the side right there. Okay, everyone. So, this is the finished look. Um... Like I said, you can only go up to 360 on this wig. Um, if you want this wig, this is what you're going to have to do to it. Or you could do the bold look. The bold look if you liked it. It was a no for me. I wasn't going to do that. So, it's called... It's um, It feels like human hair. Like they say, it really do feels like human hair once you get to doing it and stuff. It really did kind of look like, you know, feel like human hair. Um, it's called Mega Wow. And it's put out by Hair Topic. And you can get it from um, Mia's Hair Beauty Supply. And I'm going to drop that link below to take you straight to it. It's only $24. You can get it. But like I said, if you want this look, you can get you a, um, a ceramic flat iron that goes up to 360 degrees. And you can do this. I mean, it's just a simple just go around, take it all the way around, and there you go. Um, but I, I couldn't do the bowl. I mean, it's a nice wig. It felt like human hair. Maybe if I had got that color, it would probably been cute. But I won't get ready to do that blonde. I'm sorry. So, here she is. This is the final look. And, um, like I said, you can get it from Mia's Hair and Beauty Supply. Dot com and I'm gonna drop that link below and take you straight to it. $23.99. You can't beat it. It's only $24. You're gonna like the wig. The wig is actually light, it's not heavy. And like I said, it does feel human. It feels really, really good. So yeah. So if you like this wig and you want to see more wigs, please. Hit that subscribe button, hit the notification bell so you will know when I post my next wig review or anything I post on my channel. And if this is your first time here, I welcome you to my channel. Thank you for watching and make sure you like, share, and comment. I'll see you next time.